Hello and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today, the 3rd of July 2013. In today's news we have some talk about the world movie, Flex Raid UI and a few blue posts. Overall, not a massive amount, but the movie stuff is pretty interesting. So there is a roundtable for Pacific Rim in which questions about the WoW movie were asked to Thomas Tull, who is the CEO of Legendary Pictures. He said that uh, right now they, you know, he thinks that a lot of the problem with game movies is that studios have been, they've been looking at the amount of people that play a game and just being like, boom, they are sold tickets, which is a terrible way to make a movie. You know, it doesn't really encourage a lot of good movie making practices. You know, you think, oh, that's great, I've got like. 3 million tickets sold. I don't need to do anything. It, you know, it doesn't encourage them to make a great movie. Um, that and they also seem to rely just not really that well on the game world and stuff. You, you know what, look at a UA Ball movie and that's pretty much every like reason why you don't do a video game movie that way. So instead of making a movie out of the game itself, they've decided to make a movie out of its world. So the lore, the art direction, um, over a hundred books which you pointed out, and when you think about it, that's a lot of books. Now the script isn't finished yet, but they feel they're getting there, and they're planning to shoot in 2014. So overall, I actually think this movie is going to be pretty fantastic. Now it's, uh, it's helmed by Duncan Jones, who uh, by the way is the son of um, David Bowie, which is interesting. He originally called the guy Zoe Bowie, and then he changed his name. <laughs> Duncan Jones is a little bit more regular. So um, yeah, he's a great director. He directed a movie called Moon, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. And Source Code, which I think is absolutely fantastic. The guy's Metacritic average, and by the way, I don't really like Metacritic, but it's useful for saying good or bad, I suppose. Just no specific things. Um, it's over 90, I think. So, or maybe it's Rotten Tomatoes, but anyway, he is, he's a really good director. And apparently the, um, the budget's north of 200 million. So Blizzard's giving loads of money, they have a great director, Legendary's put out some great movies, so overall I think this could be pretty damn good. So I'm really looking forward to it. Now the next thing is the Flex Raid UI. So the UI pane for Flex Raids has been added. It says the rewards item level 536, which is in line with what Ghostcrawler said, and it doesn't share any lockouts. So really nothing new, but it's nice to see it there in the client. Now for blue posts, arena skirmishes won't make 5.4, but they plan on bringing them back. Basically, with the new changes, some people want to do skirmishes again, and Blizzard said that while it may to a lot of players just seem like you flip a switch to turn the system on, anyway, the system was coded in an older part of the game, and now that things are updated, they need to ensure compatibility. So they did say they plan on bringing it back, but it won't make 5.4, so to those players, your, your wishes will be granted, just not immediately. Now there's actually masses and masses of QQ on the forums about the arena changes and how it's apparently killing PvP. But, you know, of course it's killing PvP, right? Ugh. So, uh, yeah, of course it's not, since bad players will have a low rating and the good ones will have a high one. Therefore, the averages of the teams will mean that the good players never really meet the bad players. So, to the people that are QQing, don't listen to them. They're idiots. It's really that simple. So, that's it for today's news. Thanks for watching. Um, in terms of the channel stuff, I will be doing a StarCraft 2 livestream. Probably only an hour, but I'll be doing that soon after I have these edited. And uh, yeah, that's really everything. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you later.